Hi, welcome to part 4 of this uh, series of tutorials on Jack's OS web services. Uh, so far, we have written uh, services that only return content type of text. So, uh, what we're going to do in this tutorial is see how we can return different content types, for example, XML and JSON. And to achieve that, we're going to use Jack's B, uh, so Java API for XML binding. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a JAXB binding model. Uh, I should create a class. Uh, let's call it employee. I'll stick it in a package for model. And finish. Okay, so we're first of all, we're going to annotate the class with XML root. That's a, a Java. XML binding and we need to also XML access or type need to tell the runtime uh, XML access or type we need to tell the runtime how we are uh, using JXB in this case we're going to use fields which is uh, let's give it an integer ID let's create two fields by that string name okay now we're going to create a constructor. Uh, click. So generate constructor using fields. We'll select all the fields. Um, let's go. And now in our employees resource, we should create a new get method. Uh, let's give it a path of the path called XML. Hit XML and return a new employee. Let's give it ID one and name nothing. Um, okay, so we need to return the employee and import that. And one more thing we need to do is tell the JAXRS that we're going to produce produces text XML. I think that's all we need to do. Let's test that. Run, run as, run on server, and go to our REST client and pull slash XML. Okay, so we got 500 there. Uh, I know what it is. We need to go to our employee class and create uh, an empty constructor. JXP needs, needs an empty constructor. So let's generate constructor using fields. Deselect all and OK. All right, let's try again. One has one on server. And there we go. We have our XML. Perfect. Now, how about JSON? We need to do uh, create a service that's going to return JSON. Let's just copy this and change a few things. Let's give the path JSON as application JSON and call the method get JSON and that's it. All we have to do is run on the server, change the path JSON. Um, Bob Jarnko, we have Jason. So that concludes this tutorial. Tune in for the next one.